level up, level up, level up, level up, level up. Throw that ass in a circle. Uh. Throw that ass in a circle. Uh. Throw that. Oh, <laughs> go best friend, go best friend, go best friend. I sound like Juicy from uh PJs, bruh. Let me tell you something. We are struggling, okay? <laughs> I I over her down bad. I literally cannot wait for the summer, bruh. Burr is colder here. I, it must be some Toros <laughs> in the atmosphere. It must be some allergies, <laughs> bruh. Some sicknesses, Lord. I'm telling. That's why I was like, I'm really ready for it to warm up. So I don't have to deal with this shit no I'm more. I'm gonna, fucking tired. I'm never gonna tell nobody I don't ever get sick ever again, bro. Because what would you tell somebody? Yeah, it's be down bad, pal. Bro, that's. I was like, this winter, this is the worst I have felt in my life. For this is like last year I had the flu and walking pneumonia. <laughs> <laughs> the year before that, I think I was good, but the but OJ had the flu. It's, Listen, we tired. Jesus, so tired, girl. I, am I, God, am I ever gonna be able to smell again? Girl, Lord, I just want to be able to breathe normally. How does not being sick feel? I don't remember. And it's I just want to so be long. able to sleep through the night, okay, and not have to wake up with a cough or, or, or wake up and your throat be so dry because you <laughs> slept with your mouth open. You got that? You say it's like a ghost dick. Ghost, yeah. <laughs> don't you even give some some fire ass haunt head. <laughs> You will not say haunt head. It's just like, <sighs> bro, it's okay though, because literally we got like one more month of this shit. Do we? Winter should be starting to ease its way on out of here. <sighs> ease on down that road. Hell yeah! Like I'm ready for April, March. Uh, well, I'm okay with March. I Skip that. Why? March is a very insignificant month to me. Uh, why? <laughs> what What goes on in March besides St. Patrick's Spring Day? Break. Oh. Okay. okay. Yeah, that's right. right. Yeah, well, I guess, yeah. Maybe I'm not in school no more. You don't care. Fuck them holidays. I don't care to the back. Hell yeah. <laughs> I'm looking for I'm trying to go to spring break trip. I don't know where I want to go. I think at Corpus, but. Oh, that's cute. I never you been can go see the uh, Selena statue. So every, every day for Selena. Come on, La Flor. Do I be mad and act like I know what I'm saying? I know a little Spanish. Popari. <laughs> Clay plug it. Okay, well, that's why I said make it up. No need to do. In a diseño. And you, sir? Ay. Como te duele. See, I'm making up shit. Oh, yeah. Oh, how it hurts. It's all like that. Yeah. Come on. Okay. Yeah. Uh-huh. I just know come on the floor like a flower. Yeah. That's all. And then I'm like, oh, how, oh, how it hurts. <laughs> All but right. you can definitely go to the Selena statue. I've always wanted to go to that. I want to go too, but better kind of like ruined it for me. Oh, oh, you're right. Oh, yeah, posted, well, don't think about that. I'm not, but we'll see. I got, yeah. t- I got time. Because Selena Maybe was I, there before Beto. True. Maybe I get to meet uh, Abraham. Who? Oh, <laughs> I heard. I heard he All runs right. the museum. <laughs> didn't one of them just die? Didn't somebody from her family just die? I don't know. It might have been her brother. Maybe I don't know. I ain't never heard that one. Yeah, it was recent though. You got your song, bro? Yeah, man. Okay. Okay. Y'all, can we just applaud the audio for last week? Like, <sighs> she was off the chain, bro. Sounded like that was like a good audio week. So, because we know y'all been hearing that static. <laughs> what the fuck is that? <laughs> the fuck? It's not your headphones. Uh-uh. It was us. It was us. <laughs> but we, we've been over here texting, diligently, and working hard, yep. and, and working long. Yeah. <sighs> To figure out what the fuck was the problem. And we figured it out. And we think we figured it out. And the audio last week was phenomenal. Superb. So. Amazing. Hi. Super play. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, <clears throat> hey, baby. What you a deal with? Huh? We come true a lot. Huh? A tings you know. Is this a Rihanna? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, <laughs> uh, so what happened to you? Me make one little mistake. You I'm want- still in love with us, Sean, Paul, and Sasha. No, you want done us? Oh, Jasmine Sullivan. <laughs> <laughs> Need you bad. Yep, that's it. Ah, uh, okay. Oh, that was a good job. Yeah. You got that. Adam, you make one Boy, I need you bad as my hubby. I'm about to go listen to her album, uh, uh, Reality. All her album's jam. 
nigga. I really want to see Jasmine Sullivan in the concert, but she come with like white people. <sighs> well, not white people. She, there's other people. I You're not really, interested. Yeah. And, I want to see Jasmine well, Sullivan. It was like $80. Too. Girl, I was like, for $80, Jasmine better give me singing lessons. <laughs> yeah, my ass and my hair Hey. What's up? What? Hey. Okay. Uh, what makes you think that I would forget about you? Think about it. Who comes to see you? Every Saturday and Monday, I was on that receiver. It's me, your girl, your life, your world. My family and friends, they just don't understand. They say that I should leave you alone, but I say they should all just leave us alone. Don't you get it? Rihanna? No. <laughs> if I say this one, you going to get it. Okay. <laughs> I never ever cheated. I never ever lied. Oh, Keisha Cole? <laughs> no. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> so you can stop asking, asking me why. Why I never left you and why I kept it real. And why I'm still with you. You should have known better than to think I would leave. You should have known. Should've Wait, no, no. Doubt me. It don't matter if you you're up. You should have your girl was gone. Yeah. Yeah. What song is that? Um, fuck. It's Monica. Oh. You should have known better. Oh. <laughs> okay. Yeah. See. See, I be forgetting the names of songs, but I be. You knew it. You knew what it was. Yeah. Okay. So oh, well. Oh, that's good. Yeah. So this week is gonna be a little different because yes. it's a slow week. Yeah, man, niggas ain't really just nigging. Acting up, yeah. Maybe it's the cold weather. Maybe, but real hoes don't get cold. Ow. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I hear it's snowing. There's a whole damn Arctic. What's it called? Blizzard. They call it an Arctic uh, vortex or whatever, whatever vortex something they've been calling it. They like, got that going on up ca- north. Yeah, niggas ain't acting up like they, they like they usually do. Yeah, man. Yeah. So, so we got something different for y'all. But you're about to find out. Yeah. All right. Hey, best friend. Ain't it a blessing? You are listening to another episode of Here You Podcast. This is Tan. And this is B. You ready to go ahead and get started, bro? Let's get it. Let's go. Hey. All right, so you ready to go ahead and get started in this week with with the shit? Let's go. Let's get it. Oh, okay, so let's see here. Um, hundred rounds. Okay, six nine. Rainbow. <laughs> Takashi. Fifi. New York. That was called a song called Fifi. Yeah, ZZ, the one with him yeah. and no ZZ is Kodak Black. Uh, taki Taki. Who are the words that? Okay. But okay, so you know, we all know Takashi has been in prison now or jail, county, wherever. <laughs> for a minute. Holding. <laughs> yeah, okay, but definitely been in holding. Yeah. Um, for a couple months now. Has it been that long? I think it's been the way since like November. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, I don't really know either, honestly. Uh-huh. Oh yeah. So it was in November. Uh-huh. He was uh indicted on six federal charges, including racketeering. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Um, in connection with his longtime affiliation with the Nine Trey Gang, and um, now a few months later, reports are actually being said that um, three more of Takashi's associates have been indicted, Ooh. and one has allegedly been identified as the shooter in the Chief Keef incident. I heard that. That's crazy. Yeah, man. Ooh, so, wow. um. Then they're also saying that apparently Takashi is actually going to be testifying. Ooh, testifying against one of his associates? Yes. Oh, he done for. So clearly Takashi ain't about that life, bro. He done for. Takashi is not about that life. So I was talking earlier to uh, Ebony mm-hmm. and I was like, shit, I feel like when it comes to like them snitching situations, mm-hmm. like what's, the, what's really the difference between getting 30 years and 40 years? 10 years, bitch. 10 years, but to spend 30 years being labeled as a snitch, nigga, give me the 40. Huh? Yeah. No, fool. fuck that. Because oh, you're going to fuck around and get whacked off in prison. No, he's going to be in protective custody. 
And who want to be, you know what protective custody look like? I thought it was solitary, but. Who want to be in solitary confinement for for 30 years? Bitch, so you were to spend 40 years in prison? Yeah, I'm not, I wouldn't snitch. Oh, fuck, I ain't snitching, I'm telling. I, I, no, nah, fam, no. Nah. Because I feel like once you get involved in them kind of, that yeah. kind of stuff, yeah. you got to know what the hell is going to come along with it. Take, take your, take your licks. Bingo. I mean, I get that, but I'm not spending an extra 10 years in jail for nobody. That I would I will go ahead and take the ten years over being one labeled as a snitch, two having to look over my back, three you don't have to do that anyway. But, exactly, but it's protective custody anyway. I rather I I wouldn't snitch for another year, but ten years that's a long time. Yeah, nah, fam. Because really, there's a chance I might only have to do half the time. So you so really the ten will be five. I just don't want to be labeled as a snitch, fam. Too late. I don't want to be labeled as a snitch. Too late. Like, let me just take me to jail. Oh, God forbid. <laughs> but <laughs> not, not like just wood. take me to jail. Throw away the key. I lock, don't know nothing. <laughs> I ain't seen nothing. I ain't heard nothing. I don't want nothing. <laughs> I want nothing. Nah, that, fam. That is just. That's a long time. I mean, it is a long time. But I'm. I mean, the thirty and forty was just an example. But like. It reaches a point to me where it's like, uh, just be quiet. <laughs> Pretty much. Like, you're not going to come out of this exactly. situation good either way. Like I said, I've said it before. Everybody want to be gangster until it's time to be gangster. Yeah. Like, now you want to turn into, you know, oh, I just, I don't know nothing. I'm sorry. I'm so, like, I apologize for my transgressions. It's too late. Yeah. Like, did you see that um, I saw something about uh, El Chapo's wife, uh-huh. how they asked her and she was like, oh, I didn't know what the fuck was going on. She- I ain't seen nothing. His side chick went and told the police everything. And she did yet? That's, that's what I'm saying. Not yet. But I was like. <laughs> See, what they're going to do is they're going to send her damn finger to her boyfriend. <laughs> not, her, not his side chick. Girl, his side chick. Oh, she bought, she didn't violate. She ain't supposed to say nothing. She ain't supposed to know nothing anyway. Girl, that's what that's I was his, like. No, that's his fault, though. He's supposed to know nothing no way. But I'm like, okay. So, clearly, he was pillow talking with you. Yeah. But then, why you ain't take the, why do you ain't take what the wife did and just, I don't know nothing. I ain't seen nothing. She feel like she's going to get more notoriety and fame by snitching. Well, you finna be dead. Pretty much dead people can't spend no money. <laughs> like, like you're You don't need no money in heaven. You're finna be dead. Ain't no have to pay, B. Girl. Whew, sweet Jesus. Yeah. So I mean, I guess we're gonna see what's gonna happen moving forward with Takashi. Uh-huh. But <sighs> nigga, shit ain't looking pretty. At all. Ooh. Uh I feel like rest of peace, but uh, <laughs> girl, bye. Rest of peace, but good luck. <laughs> <laughs> shit. Yeah, nah. But, okay, so let's go ahead and see. Let's go on over to our next topic. Okay. 100 Rams. Uh-huh. Iman Shumpert. Uh, basketball. Uh, Junie. Biblioteca. Huh? I don't, this is the first thing I just thought of. I don't huh? know. I don't oh, know. wait, what'd you say? Biblioteca. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it's just, it's like a Wilson. Wilson? The basketball. That's the... That's, that's the name of the I know you ain't talking with Biblioteca. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's the name of the basketball? Yeah, basketball. It says Wilson on it. Or Wilson's one of the two. I thought Wilson was like the uh, tennis day. Uh, I, I'm pretty sure they do a variety of items. <laughs> <Okay>. Biblioteca. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay, so you know, last <sighs> week we had discussed how Tiana kind of took a little bit of a hiatus from Instagram. Mm-hmm. Um, Said that she was actually mad because of uh, Def label. Jam uh-huh. and releasing her music video. Uh-huh. whoop de woo Well, last weekend was Drea's birthday. Uh-huh. Drea had a birthday party, I which Drake was there. I mm. saw that. Did you see like him like hide and that woman like patting his back? Yeah. And everyone's like, we need to find out who the thick woman is. Oh, <laughs> Drake. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's like, I like all my woman BBW. <laughs> yeah. You can figure out who she is. <laughs> for real, for real. So she not with uh oh boy no more who crap who Skandrick or oh I don't know I they thought all, they were that was on and off yeah oh. I thought they were I mean she still wears a ring Drake were why were you there Drake right <sighs> so Tiana actually posted um a couple pictures of her and Drea from the birthday party uh-huh. and Tiana captioned it 
when the hottest girl in school lets quiet, nerdy Trey take her to prom. Happy B Day, Bay. I'm sick of Tiana. Adrea Michelle. I'm sick of Tiana. So one picture was Tiana with her like hands wrapped around Drea's waist. Mm-hmm. The second picture was Drea bent over with Tiana grabbing her ass. Oh, I definitely didn't see that. You didn't see the sick? Bro, uh, people were like, Tiana looked like Iman from the back. <laughs> They, you know they say when couples be together for so long, they sound like little, little girl I like. can't lie. Tiana had a strong ass hand, nigga. I was like, Tell her because she a goddamn savage for men and women. Girl, I was like, could eat my vagina. Girl, I ain't gonna be at your house at six a.m. with a, with a got on, on, on the phone, and, twisted and, like a pretzel, and some goddamn Tiff treats. <laughs> Girl, shut up. Come, come outside and talk to me for a second. <laughs> Fuck that. That's why, that's why I'm scared. That's why I'm afraid to be with a woman. Really. I feel like we're like, I fall in love too fast. I'm, I know lesbians fall in love too fast. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like we're going to be crazy over each other. I don't, yeah. I don't I mean, need you that always of... hear like about how quick and things. Yeah. I, uh-uh. I, can, I can imagine that it's like super passionate. That's what I'm saying. I ain't trying to move. Mm-mm. No, let me stick to these no good niggas because I don't need to be like that. I'm no female. Girl, I'm telling At you. All. At all. Yeah. So I was like, this is weird whatever so then iman actually jumped in the comment and said this is corny as fuck tiana said you big mad big fella which i feel like personally we started the big fella movement but it's okay (laughs) then iman commented cap if you want and then iman said this time you really tweaking on my soul you bogus as fuck Ooh, Ooh, those fighting words so I'm like, huh. that's that's so New York. Uh, How would that be if they was from Texas? Uh, let me think. Now you tripping? You tripping, bro? Oh, you mad? Oh, you mad, mad? You no, mad, mad? You mad, mad? Huh? Are you big mad? Is that what they said? Are you big mad? Yeah, Are she you, said you, you mad, big mad. You mad, mad? You mad, mad? Then he said, "Cap if you want." How would Texas cap if you want? Now they would probably say no cap. You think so? Yeah. Everybody's saying Life no cap. Laugh you want to. <laughs> I don't want to get to laugh you want to. <laughs> okay. You ain't lying. A pair of lips say anything. <laughs> Live you want to. A pair of lips say anything. He said, then this time you really tweaking on my soul, you bogus as fuck. Oh, you really fucked up. On my mama. You okay. tripping. <laughs> ah, for real. <laughs> on my mama, on my you mama, tripping. On my mama. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> for real. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, my gosh. Dang. That's why I was like, ooh, maybe y'all ain't just as happy as you want What's us to going believe. On? I definitely, I saw, I saw that, but I definitely didn't see, like, I didn't see the exchange, but I saw the after when he issued his uh, POS press release. Yeah. So he did issue the little press release and was like, yesterday I was just having a moment in my feelings, tripping about things that normally wouldn't bother me. Simply just missing my wife and should have never taken to social media to express that. In my wife's defense, I know she always plays like this with all of her friends. And I should have never isolated. Well, I should have never violated that trust with her. I apologize. And most importantly, apologize to my wife for leaving those comments under her pit. So what was it? He thought they was having fun without him or something? That's what I'm saying. It sounded like a moment of jealousy to me. Yeah. Or like, so he's, is he, so he's playing, I guess. Not there where she is yeah clearly maybe they haven't seen each other in a couple and weeks and instead of how stay on a flight she went to go to the party <laughs> she, went, she went to go be a nerd she went to to be a nerdy trade, trade? <laughs> girl this so, probably leave, leave another hot eyes on the bitch girl i'm really sure work show you the dog walk a bitch girl that's what i was like nigga. wow they were really tripping I just really hate to see couples fight on uh, on social media. I mean, I'm going me to watch. Me too. And I'm going to read out a comment. Okay. But I just hate to see it like, just like best friends. Like, ugh, why y'all doing it? Like, I should know the shit that's going on in your business. Yeah. I mean, it's like, ugh, there's a lot of that. Y'all really could have just kept to yourselves. Or like, your, your text don't work. <laughs> okay. Because sometimes I be wanting to like post like my baby daddy be like, God. Damn, I can't. But I'm just like, you know what? First of all, I'm going to feel stupid because I chose his ass. Mm. Second of all, it ain't nobody else's business what's going on between us. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm about to deal with this nigga. That's a fact. And then, like, his mom on my Facebook, my parents. I just don't, I don't know. 
some things just better left unsaid. It really left is left unwritten. That's a fact. Like just. Yeah, and I, I heard something a long time ago that was like, you know, whatever you feel like sending that really long text message to somebody telling them, like pouring your guts and your heart out and all this stuff. Uh-huh. They were like, go ahead, open up your notes app, uh-huh. go ahead and type it up, whatever it is that you want to say, uh-huh. save it. And then the next morning, if you still feel like sending it, send it. Ooh. But See, nine times out of 10, you're not going to feel like sending it. I don't have a type of... uh filter i don't have that type of restraint i'm a very blunt person so you i mean i just i'm just i'm i'm no longer holding my feelings feelings back if i but if if i if i feel some way i'm gonna say i'm gonna address it like you're not gonna not know that i feel the type of way right but i try i try to i'm very emotional though i try not to have i'm my I'm, a, in it. I'm a very sensitive person as well it's just the sagittarius in me yeah but I try because, you know, everybody loves to say, oh, here you go, getting sensitive. Mm-hmm. I was like, shit, I can't help it. Yeah. One thing about me is that I will tell you how I'm feeling before I go tell somebody else. What do you mean, me? Like, just in general. Like, if I'm feeling some type of way. Oh, about somebody. About somebody yeah. or something's bothering me. Before I go and complain to other people, yeah, I'm, I'm going to tell you. you. Yeah. So, at least you, you know. know. Yeah. You can't say I didn't tell you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of times too, like I, the way I am, I like I've I've definitely matured a lot. Like a lot of stuff, I just let go. I'm just like, you know, it ain't even worth it. Like I'd be ready to like, especially like on I, like on Facebook or something. Like I'd be ready to like, just, you know what? They should do me. They, yeah, they affected me. Uh, yeah, let me just <laughs> bye. It's, it's, much, it's much easier to delete a nigga, girl. Cause I can't lie. Sometimes I be on like I be watching people snaps and stuff, and I be thinking to myself like, fuck, I want to post like. Damn, y'all sure do love posting memories of your kids. Where they at? Okay. <laughs> like, where, where they at, though? Like, why are you posting memories of your baby? Or like, Your baby ain't around? Sometimes when people post the wrong shit, I'm just like, y'all, that's not right. And then one time yes. this girl got mad, she's like, I, I hate, I, can y'all go be correct on your own post? All right, bitch, but you wrong, but okay. You know niggas right. hate being told they wrong. And I just, I try to be like, the not say about certain stuff i'm just like but so, sometimes people only get their news from facebook and you put that wrong shit yeah that happens all the time one of the girls like she was so wrong she erased the, erased the shit and then she's like damn can y'all go be writing your own post <laughs> and i just put like a yes if you don't post wrong shit right but if you feel that way delete me yeah so i'm just like you know sometimes it's not worth it it's really not worth it just leave the shit off the internet and i was watching um tony gaskin uh-huh. on the breakfast club uh-huh. and he kind of like started i guess they kind of brought up the topic about like people doing threesomes and things like that in their relationships uh-huh. and he was saying he was like whenever you open up a relationship that you've built uh-huh. and you uh, he's like threesomes aren't built on love yeah. He's like, anybody can say like, oh, you know, I want to please my man. So this is what I'm going to give him. He's like, threesomes aren't built on love. They're built on lust. Yeah. And nothing positive comes out of lust. That's true. He's like, so when you hear all these stories about these men and they have threesomes and then all of a sudden he starts sleeping with the other woman. And then before you know it, she's pregnant. Mm-hmm. He's like, that's what you just opened up a relationship to. Yeah. So he's like, you know, if you're okay with threesomes. That's fine, but you also got to be okay what's going to come along what with it. What could happen, yeah. And so I was like, damn, you know, it's yeah. a good point. I mean, I get it. If that's your thing, that's your thing. But I just, I'm at a, I'm at a point in my life, like, what you, what you need? I can switch wigs. Like, what you want me to do? Like, you want me to be a different bitch? I can make my voice go deep. I can make my voice go high. Like, okay. What you want somebody to do that I can't do? Or you just want to look at it? Let's watch it. Like, we'll watch it together on the TV. Okay. Like, I just, I don't, I'm not going to say never, but like, I just, I'm selfish. I don't like to share. I'm not doing it. I don't want to be thinking at the back of my head, like, how you know this bitch? Or, you know, bitch say something. Like, I miss this. What? You miss who? <laughs> okay. You miss what? Okay, and I gotta kill out. We all gotta die. I'm telling you, I'm like, like I'm, gonna, I'm trying to turn the gas on and stuff all the corners <laughs> of the door, and we all just go. Girl, up, shut up. Fixated in here. <laughs> I'm just like, <laughs> everybody got time for all that. It'd be wondering like if they hit each other on the side. I ain't got time for that. It's too much. It honestly is too much. That's why she's yeah. like, you know what? It's just best. Like if I ever would, I probably like it's gonna have to be something like we out of town, like out of the country. Even then, like I mean, I could kind of see something like that, like. 
you know what I'm saying? Like you, this is like, this is a once in a lifetime thing, but even just like, I'm okay. Like how, it ain't nothing I need. It ain't nothing I just need to explore. No, it's definitely feel. nothing that I'm just like itching for or yeah. anything. But, you know, I was just like, he kind of raises some valid points, you yeah. know, mentioning like, you know, this is what you just got to be prepared for, yeah. that these are possibilities. And never do it to, see, the thing I, I can respect about them though is that she wants it. So it's not like him, like, "Ooh, baby, you know, really like make me like fall in love with you or or whatever." Like it's something that she. But at, at this point, it's starting to look like she wants it more than him. That's what I'm saying, though. But like, you got it got to be from both sides. Like you got to be thinking about like both sides. But I don't know, bro. It's, it's just like, relationships is already hard enough. Yeah, between I, two people, other people, and try to try to make it work between three and four and twelve. What's like, not a throuple? <laughs> A throuple. <laughs> Bruh, I can't laugh right now. Maybe my head hurt. I don't know what it's called. Bruh, it's just too much. It this is. is way too much. But, you know, definitely, like we said last week, best of wishes to Tiana and Iman. Hope they get everything figured out. And just uh, and continue to raise your black queen, Junie. Yeah, for real. <laughs> Cause she watching y'all. <laughs> okay, <laughs> Juni, Juni is all we care about right now. Okay, she she definitely watching y'all. Juni is all we care about. All right, so let's go ahead and go on over to our last topic. Okay, a hundred rounds. All right, uh, Jesse Smollett, uh, Empire. Uh, <laughs> you wanna say gay? <laughs> <laughs> you wanna say gay, don't you? Shut up. Do do, do you not? <laughs> it crossed my mind. Uh, uh, uh brother gay <laughs> journey okay i mean i guess i could say singer oh yeah he is a singer like he does sing sing right yeah he sings sing, sing, yeah bro. all right so this has been some of the literally this week this when this story came out i was just like nigga what the fuck bro what the fuck so um reports did come out that jesse smollett was attacked mm. In Chicago earlier this week. It's so sad. Uh, so police are reporting that he was actually walking down the street whenever people began to yell homophobic and racial slurs at him. Mm -hmm. They beat him, poured a chemical on him, and wrapped a rope around his neck. That's crazy. Yeah, bro. Did you hear that they um, have the potential persons of interest? Yeah, I heard that, that thought... there was some uh, some video. Yeah. They... And so they have some... They did some leads, and then it, it was bleach. Did you hear about that? Oh, so it was bleach. Mm -hmm. Whenever I read it, I thought immediately to myself that they poured acid on that's it. What I thought like, oh, that's fucked up. So see, and this is for your people, for your friends. It's like uh, racism isn't that bad, mm. or this is not that bad. Like mm. people still get away with doing shit like this that, for something that somebody can't even control. That's what I'm saying. Like, like I can understand it. Like, I can somehow understand. Like, if you're a Christian or if you like not understand it, but I'm like, okay, that's something I can control. But I can't control being black, hmm. and I can't control who I love. Right. Like, what what I what I eat don't make you shit. Right. That's a fact. Like this. Whatever I was reading it, I was like, well, why didn't y'all take your bleach, your noose, mm -hmm. your racial slurs? To the damn R. Kelly show. <laughs> Why didn't y'all go throw bleach on that nigga while he was performing for his goddamn birthday? But I'm like, how did they even know? Like, were they telling him? They know it was I him? went to Jesse's uh, Instagram page. Uh -huh. He was basically saying, like, I'm on my way to Chicago. He was, uh -huh. and he was even posting about um, his flight being delayed due to the weather. Uh -huh. And then I, he was supposed to make an appearance somewhere. It was supposed to be some sort of event or something that night. He was talking about himself. That's all. I guess he didn't have any certain kind of security or no friends or, not. or nothing with him. It's very, very sad. I was just like, this is actually so terrible yeah. and so sad. Like yeah. for, for people that you don't even know to have that much like hate or an anger yeah. towards you and you have nothing to do with it. And you didn't do anything to them. You didn't do anything to these people. I was like, man, fuck these people, honestly and truthfully. I hope they catch them and I hope they get life. Girl, they need to throw them under the fucking jail. Life, lifetimes. I'm telling you. And I saw one picture. He was on FaceTime with somebody. It was after or before? It was after. He was in the hospital bed. Uh -huh. I saw a picture. Because, you know, everybody was posting this picture. Talking about, you know, Jesse, we're praying for you. Uh -huh. And blah, blah, blah. 
And his face was like really swollen. It looked like he had a black eye. Mm -hmm. So I was just like, man, this is honestly sad. And what's even sadder is like the trauma that he's going to carry with him. For the rest of his life. For the rest of his life. Like you cannot tell me that he is going to be anywhere near the same. Mm -mm. He's going to look over his shoulder. Not even look. Yeah. What's PTSD? Yeah. He's going to be nervous. He's probably not going to want to travel anywhere without security or something. Uh Or at least a person with him. Probably even post like his moves anymore. Exactly. Like that's crazy. Like you you completely can change somebody's whole entire life (sighs) based off of your own decision making. And that's sad. Mm. It's super sad. Did you see Mike Epps post? Uh -uh. Mike Epps posted and was like, hey, Chicago. I'm being, I'm gonna be there uh, around Valentine's. Mm-hmm. Uh, so whatever niggas had that smoke for Jesse, make sure y'all had that smoke with me. He was like, bring your noose. <laughs> okay. <laughs> like, bring everything with you. Wow. Uh, and I'm gonna make sure I be able to handle that. <sighs> That's so. It's just extremely sad. Mm-hmm. It's extremely sad that even still to this day, people can hate you so much they want to harm you. That's. That's what was can, so can fucked up about pedophiles? it. Like, if you, if you want to do some social justice, come, come get yeah, them. I'm telling you, like, like I said, R. R. Kelly, Kelly is running around. George Zimmerman is still running around here. Girl, they, they probably George Zimmerman tribe. Bingo! Like, there's other people out here. Now, I'm not saying I'm not condoning abuse and I'm not violence. condoning violence. But get like, if y'all want to be social, get get who get, there's people higher up on the list. Uh, uh, bingo. <laughs> Like, I didn't know that there was, like, people really want to smoke with Jesse. That's what I'm saying. Like, what does he do? That's what I was like, He's what, like a dance. What did he do to anybody? He walked around an empire on some on them high heel shoes. That's the, last time I, that's the last time I watched Empire. I don't know how to be funny, but that's the last time I watched Empire. Like, the like probably the second season. And I, think I, I, I think I stopped watching the second season also. I'm not going to lie. And so I remember, like, the flashbacks that he was in the shoes and Lu- Lucius got mad. Or, like, Is that whenever he put him in the trash? Yes. That was actually a very fucked up scene. It was. And that's when I was like, you know what? They do it too much. This is how black people respond to finding out <laughs> their son is gay. Their son is gay. <laughs> I'ma beat this I'ma beat the gay out of him. And it does not Trash. work like that. It, it, it really don't. It does not work like that. It really, really doesn't. So I don't know, man. I was just like, oh, this is so fucking sad. It's very sad. I can't imagine like just walking to work. Yeah. If somebody put a nigga noose. a noose, or, they can call it a rope. Yeah. Nigga, they put a fucking that's a noose, bro. Yeah. They put a noose around. Can somebody put a noose around my neck? Yeah. Oh my gosh, I'd probably shoot everybody. Oh girl, I'm I'm suing a city. I'm suing a state. I'm I suing promise. you. Like, I'm suing whoever they bought the noose from. Home Depot, okay. wherever, wherever y'all, the fuck y'all, y'all got rope. Y'all saw these niggas this shit. Now you gotta pay. <coughs> it's just extremely sad. It's super sad. So definitely prayers for Jesse, prayers for, for his family, prayers for healing. Yeah, for real. And fuck whoever is responsible. Get it. Yeah. You gonna you're gonna have to pay. For real. One hope, way or I another. Went, I hope it wasn't a prank or no, like we were just kidding. You nah, don't you don't play like that. Sure don't. You don't play like that. Sure don't. But you know, like we said, it's a short week and yeah. with the shits. Yeah. So we're gonna do something a little bit different this week. Yeah. Uh, maybe we could call it tag. You're it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. So I think it works. We ask the question, and you can res- answer to it, or ask me the question, and I'll respond best like what I think your answer will be. Okay. So I ask you a question, uh-huh. and then you just give me the answer about me. Yeah. And okay. We, you could do the same thing too. Okay. So you can go ahead and go first. Okay. What's one food I can't live without? What is one food you can't live without? Um, bread pudding. Yeah, I think that's, I think that's a fair, a fair, a fair assessment. Because you love some bread pudding. Ooh, I love some bread pudding. You're right about that. I thought you would say ice cream, but oh, girl, yes, what you need to be living without. <laughs> no, but well, I... your stomach be re- responding. Ooh, but I can't. Right. Uh, what's one food you can't live without? A salad. Yeah, you like salad. I do love me a salad. Oh, yuck! <laughs> I do love me a salad. I thought you were gonna say soup. I was gonna say soup. Yeah, I fucking love soup. I was gonna say soup, but I was like, but you eat soup year round. Yeah, I do. I was gonna say soup. I yeah. do eat soup year round. Okay. Okay. Um, what was my first boyfriend's, or who was my first boyfriend? Oh, uh, Jody. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Jody, my Jody. Jody, Jody, Jody. Uh, <laughs> y'all met on MySpace. No, we met on Black Planet. Oh, that's right. Yep. And we used to take trips to Arlington all the time. <sighs> those, those were the good old days, For bro. Real. Just get it forth off and go to, make a trip to Arlington, go to bro, Parks Mall. Be at the Parks Mall, walking around. Put, put. Six Flags. Girl, every time I pass that putt putt, I be like, boy, the things I did in the parking lot. Oh, you did. The Ooh. things I did in the park. Girl, I passed by that putt putt like two weeks ago. Girl. I'm in the car with my current what? boyfriend. <laughs> like, I'm in there like raving. If you only do what these, what the, what the miniature golf had to say. <laughs> Girl. I was like, whoo, Lord. Ooh. Um, Okay. Ooh, who was your first boyfriend? Like, I'm thinking serious boyfriend, uh-huh. real boyfriend, Quincy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Cause like, I know you had some other ones, but uh, it wasn't like yeah, it wasn't that serious. Yeah, yeah. Quincy, uh, aka OJ's daddy. <laughs> <laughs> yep, yep, first serious one. Um, oh, let me see. What is your net? What is my Netflix bed show? I don't think you'll get this. Oh, Netflix Ben show. Let me think. Let me think. Um, I'm thinking some sort of documentary. I don't know if I really just kind of have a documentary would be one. Yeah. But it's not really like. Or a docu-series. Probably. Yeah. But okay. Genre is close enough. I'll probably be watching a docu-series. Or docu-series yeah. Or like that. Yours is locked up. Hell yeah. <laughs> Yours is definitely locked up. Locked up a bra, looked up raw. Hell yeah. Locked up extended stay. Women behind bars. <laughs> locked up women's, locked Bruh, up. I've uncut. been watching, I literally have been watching women behind bars for like a month now. For real? Yeah, like, because the thing is, like, okay, so one season is like 12 episodes, right? Uh huh. So before I go to sleep, and it's crazy, I need to stop playing that shit while I'm sleeping because I've been having Prison like dreams. crazy ass dreams. Oh, hell no. Nah. Hell no. Nah. Yeah. But. It's been taking me so long to watch it mm-hmm. because I'll randomly pick an episode and like I say, I pick episode four. Mm-hmm. Whenever I wake up, it'll be like on episode 10. Oh, so you gotta go so back and I've re-watch missed them. four through 10. <laughs> so I have to go back and rewatch it. But so, yeah, but I do. I do love that shit. It's actually really bad. <laughs> Not really bad. It's actually really bad. Okay. Um, let me see here. Oh, do I like ketchup, mustard, or both? Ooh, I like on a burger. Just in general, you like ketchup? Do you? I prefer mustard. <laughs> oh, okay. So on fries? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, fries. But like a burger? Yeah. Yeah. That's a weird answer. Or a hot dog? <laughs> yeah, I do prefer. You? Oh, okay. Okay. So do you like? You don't like mustard because it's sour. I like mustard or burgers, but not on anything uh-uh. else. So what about on a hot dog? Uh, no, I'll probably do ketchup. Oh, hot dog with ketchup. ketchup? Ew! I might do mustard, but it's some chili and some mustard on top. I just, I just started like, I started like a mustard like not too long ago. So. Mustard is so fucking good. Yeah, I don't like, sour and it stuff. gets rid of like, but you're right, gas and all that stuff. Yeah, you're right, I don't like it gets sour rid of stuff. all kind of stuff. Okay. Uh. Oh, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> uh, have I ever been fired? <laughs> oh my gosh! Have you ever been fired? Uh-huh. Did you get fired from McDonald's, or you quit before I they quit would before fire, fire you? Fire. Yeah. Ah, oh, that's the only thing I can think of. I've been fired before. Where? I was working at this, uh, well, I don't really consider it being fired because it was a a temp job. It was through a temp Mm -hmm. agency. But I was pregnant. Remember I driving a forklift in Athens? Oh, girl. (laughs) And you were like eight months pregnant? I wasn't that far along now. (laughs) I I was pretty early along. I don't even know if I was having a girl just then. But I was driving a forklift. So I was like, yeah, I just found out I'm pregnant. And I went to like make an appointment. I had to go off to an appointment and they fired me. Wow. Ain't that illegal? Uh yeah, but they they said it was for my piercing in my nose because you asked me to take it out once and I forgot to take it out again, huh. and they said it was for that. And I was outside crying like I don't have a job. I got this apartment, and the lady was like, "God, I got something better for you. Don't even worry Come about it." Come on, baby. I was like, 
that sound nice but i ain't got no check like, <laughs> like i need to check so yeah i got fired for one place but i don't know if they really count because it's a temp agency yeah no i wouldn't mm-mm. and have you ever gotten fired <laughs> i'm trying to think i don't think you have once it was kind of like the same thing it was like uh, a- a- apple, apple. <laughs> that's right i didn't even make the uh the Bruh, cut for that girl i remember that and i made that terroristic threat against them and they were like man you need to leave the premises what'd you say <laughs> so we're in the little training class or whatever that's right you didn't even get to through training no because i made it through like i think it was like the second week of training uh-huh. and we're sitting in there and it was after lunch uh-huh. i'll never forget it we're sitting in there and <laughs> There was this guy that came in. Uh-huh. Oh, there was these people that came in and they asked for this one girl to step out. Uh-huh. So after she stepped out, then this big black guy came through and he picked up her stuff. Uh-huh. So I'm like, what the fuck? Uh-huh. So I did to like two more people. So I'm sitting there. All of a sudden they come. <laughs> Tana, uh, they want to speak to you outside. I was like, are y'all firing me? And they were like, well, they're going to talk to you outside. I said, well, let me go ahead and grab my stuff now because I don't want that nigga to come in here and grab it. (laughs) So, girl, I picked up all my shit. Mm -hmm. Girl, them people told me, they're like, well, you're just, you're not really, you know, training. It's not working out. I was like, what the fuck's not working out? Mm -hmm. And they were like, well, it's just, you know, it's just not a good fit and blah, 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 all this other stuff. Mm -hmm. I was like, y'all gonna make me blow this bitch up. (laughs) I was like, how are y'all gonna fire me in the middle of training? And then why wouldn't you why didn't you fire me this morning? Like yeah. you want me to finish half a day yeah. and then lunch? Mm-hmm. C- come back from lunch, my nigga. Okay. It, like that's embarrassing. Yeah. And so that's when they were like, ma'am, you need to leave. Girl, tell me why. All of a sudden I got my last check from them. That bitch was short. That it didn't have that full day, that morning. Uh-huh. It didn't have that morning on there. It was like four or five hours short or something uh-huh. like that. I call them. They're like, oh, well, we're just going to have to see what we can do. I said, there's nothing that you're going to see okay. because I fucking worked. Okay. So I was like, so either you get a check out to me right now or I'm calling the Texas Workforce Commission <laughs> and I'm going to tell them about what y'all got going on up in that building. Girl. And and then I let them handle it. I remember that too because she was like, they let bitches with pajama pants at Hell this day. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, here I am coming to work, looking all prim, proper. I got my shit together. Uh-huh. I got my notebook ready to take fucking notes. Yeah. And y'all want to come tap me on my shoulder? <laughs> Fuck out of here. It's a blessing, though. It definitely was, man. Fuck them people. It was a blessing. Fuck them people. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, what is the name of my favorite childhood pet? Oh, uh, Louie. Yeah. It's between Louie and Benji. I forgot about Benji. Yeah. Benji was a real nigga, though. Yeah, Benji was. I forgot Benji about Benji. Benji was a real nigga. But rest in peace to my nigga Louie, bro. And hey, Benji. Yeah. Yeah, rest in peace to that. <laughs> you both of them. Um, I'm trying to think. <laughs> What's the name of your favorite childhood pet? <laughs> Louie. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. I had a goddamn dog named Oreo. Girl. Ooh, I think Oreo was... The, you can't say retarded now. What is it? Uh, Special needs. Learning disabled. or Oreo... Ashley and I swear, <laughs> Oreo was not talking. We heard Oreo talk. We were all high. We, but how did me and Ashley <laughs> both hear Oreo talk? Because we smoked the same weed. <laughs> <laughs> we both heard Oreo say the same thing. And what did Oreo say? It was something like, "Uh, what?" <laughs> I swear, me and Ashley were like, "Bruh, I think it was when we Oreo just that. fucking talk at White Widow." <laughs> yes, and I, I felt like my titties were getting bigger and was gonna suffocate me. <coughs> and i felt i was like why are my titties growing my titties are growing my chest bro that's why i was like you know what it was a weed oh, oh I, I miss the days of being able to smoke weed with that anxiety girl i see i can't smoke weed and like be out because i be like looking in my everybody mirror. know i'm high yeah the police gonna stop me they ask me to <laughs> walk in a straight line and i can't because i'm high hell yeah i was like uh-uh i gotta be at home girl even when i be at home i'd be like what the fuck is going on outside? Ooh. Is it is it the end of the world? Oh Lord. It's, like, it's so not... quiet. Yeah. That's why I can't uh, smoke weed no more, fam. Yeah. I can't. Stay away from that shit. <laughs> Hell yeah, because my anxiety be through the roof. Okay. Uh <laughs> <laughs> what app do I use most often? Oh. I'm about to go with Facebook. Bingo. 
<laughs> and I've got down groups. Yeah, I'm, a, I'm definitely have to go with Facebook. I want to say one. with you, IG. Yeah, you use it a lot. You mean like finding stuff? I was like, how do you even find it? You mean finding shit, people's comments and everything. I'm like, how do you find Bruh, this? I be IG is very. um Do you look at an explore page? That's the crazy thing. I don't. Oh, so you just you just I just, and it's so funny because the other day I had my IG open. I put my phone down, and my boyfriend was like, "All you do is follow nail pages." <laughs> And literally, that's all you do. That's all I do. I watch nail videos. Really? I watch people doing nails. I watch before and after nail trans. Like, Dang. I don't know. I just really love nail is life. I just be looking at them like, oh my gosh, like these people are so creative. Wow. And coming up with all this stuff. So yeah, I definitely I do like IG a lot. I really do. Okay. Um, what was my first job? Uh, well, fucking me, Tom. Hell yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah! Technically, you worked at your parents' shop, yeah, and all that stuff. But technically, but those, those child though. labor laws. <laughs> and you ever buy Albertsons? Yeah, yeah, Albertsons. You quit Albertsons and came over to Tom. Okay, straight over. To, I, I stopped second groceries at Tom Thumb, and my step or Albertsons. My stepmom was like, "You need to put in a, a year notice." I'm like, "Fuck them people!" I <laughs> Hell that yeah! Ass. And so my boss was like, giving me like an attitude or whatever about some shit, and I'm just like, "You know what? Fuck y'all! I quit. I got another job." I, I start my other job tomorrow, oh, so y'all can come hey. take this shit. And so we need to write it down. I quit. quit. <laughs> and sign my name. Bingo. Girl, I'm so pissed off. Ooh. Man, we had some fun times over at Tom Thumb. Bro. Girl, for real, for real. Remember they fired D? Girl, yeah. She talked to Tom Thumb too, didn't she? Yep. Nisha. Uh, no, 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 Nisha didn't work there. She didn't? Talisha. Talisha. You should. Uh, Nisha, no. Anton, LB. Oh, I forgot LB worked LB, at Tom Thumb. LB worked at Tom Thumb as a stacker. Yeah, I forgot about that. Really Andrew, that stayed there for like years and years. And he like he became like the head of the meat department, the black dude with the braids. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Oh, girl, man. Girl, Tom, Tom Thumb, Thumb used to be lit, bro. Ooh, I used to steal so much shit from Tom man, Thumb. Girl. Ate for free every day Ooh, and this is the thing i was cross training all the department so it ain't enough for me to go back there and make myself a sandwich <laughs> i go home with full arrangements <laughs> go back there and get myself the best cut walking of meat. with a german chocolate cake <laughs> a whole now nah, i get the fresh bread be back, see, that's why I, I think i got the most way i'll be back there with a fresh loaf of bread then they're digging in the middle of it girl shut up yeah, fresh bread be so good girl not taking the middle out girl and then be uh open up samples of that oh there's some chocolate they have up there that's so damn good remember that chocolate i had it's like uh, truffles or no. t- uh, toffee. And they had them in the floor department. It was, they were expensive as shit. <laughs> and they were like, well, you, have, you can open them up for clients to like sample them. Girl, I bet that. <laughs> Fuck it up. Fuck it up. For real. Fuck it up. And she's like, well, you can't give out so many samples. I'm just like, eh. Because that was one of Tom Thumb's policies. Like if a so customer wanted to. Anything. They were like, oh, I wonder how those taste. You could open up a bag of chips. Yep. Open up whatever. Fruit. And you would just like damage it out. Yep. That's basically, yeah, you offer yeah, samples. Good. You remember whenever Crystal stole my phone? That white girl, huh? Yeah. You said that, but I don't remember that. Bruh, I will never forget that girl. <laughs> oh, yeah. She stole my cell phone. And I was like, oh my gosh, I don't know where my phone is. Uh-huh. She was like, I'll help you find it. Uh-huh. And I was like, okay, whatever. So then I remember I, um, I called up there uh-huh. and... I already said the damn girl name. Um, oh, well, she don't listen. <laughs> yeah. Do you remember the the guy that she like had a crush on? He worked over in customer service. He was young. Uh-huh. White boy with yeah. like spiky hair. Uh-huh. I can't remember his name. So I called up there and he answered. And I was like, hey, so-and-so, this is Tana. Like, have y'all seen a cell phone? Uh-huh. And he was like, no. He's like, I haven't seen the phone. He's like, they told me that someone had took your phone. I was like, yeah, I'm trying to find it. He was like, well, what's your phone number? And I gave it to him. And he was like, well, such and such takes me from that phone number last night. Oh, and I said, what? That's how you found out? Yes. I was like, she did? He was like, yeah. I was like, are you sure? Uh-huh. He was like, yeah. He was like, and I thought it was weird because she didn't have the phone. Oh, she dirty hoe. And I was like, oh, okay. I was like, so when does she work next? He was like, oh, she works this evening. I was like, okay, bet. I do too. <sighs> I go up there. Uh-huh. I caught that hoe in the back. I was like, say. 
he already told me that you have my phone. Uh-huh. So I'm going to give you until the count of three to hand Ooh. it over. I'm going to beat it out of you. <laughs> She's like, I don't have it. I was like, one. <laughs> I don't have it. Two. <laughs> Girl, that girl went into her purse and pulled that phone out. I told her, I said, the one thing about me is that I don't care for people who steal from people that they know. Okay. Like, if you want to steal, why don't you go grab one of these damn phones? All, uh, the Tom Thumb got up in this bitch. Okay. Go over to a register, activate that okay. shit, and you can go text that nigga from that phone. Girl. Why would you steal my phone that I work hard for? Okay. You got the nice phones, too. Girl, I was so upset. I will vaguely remember that. Girl, and it was a prepaid phone, and that hoe had used like all of my shit. <gasps> I told her, I was like, You finna come off the money? You're finna load this phone back up for me? Did she? Girl, yes, she did. That's why she had a tail and got her ass fired. Girl, and that's why I told her, I was like, You're really lucky that I don't I don't tell them that you stole from me. And Because that charges. girl literally took the phone out of, oh, away from my register. Mm. Girl, Ooh. that's how I was like, oh no, ma'am. She probably still stealing. Okay. So for the I don't even know if we told a story before, but I got I stole Tan's uh virgin kit. From oh Tom my Thumb. god. <laughs> Cause you waited till you were eighteen to give away your virginity to Jody. <laughs> yeah. And it was like prom, wasn't it? Or before No, prom? it was it was uh it was December twenty sixth, two thousand five. Wow. And he made it very romantical or whatever. Yeah. And y'all had sex with Pretty Ricky. <laughs> the whole album. And so I was like, okay, girl, this is what you need to do. So I, got, I stole her like a, I stole her like ibuprofen, condoms, lube. What else I put that kid? I don't even Epsom remember. Epsom salt. Epsom salt to soak your vagina. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was like some pads or something too or something. Yeah, I, I gave you like a whole kit and I stole all that shit. Yeah, man. I used to steal so much. Like one time they caught me, I was just like. I was gonna pay for it, but I think they were like so sure on, on cashiers that they didn't count. I stole a drink, drunk it, and put it back on the we shelf. We never stole money, ever. <laughs> we never ever we, that that register was always okay. in tip top shape. Girl, I remember one time I would damage stuff out so we could steal it. Girl, go over there and drop a six pack of wine coolers. <laughs> oh, it's only three left. <laughs> Guess I'm gonna go put back a damage. <laughs> <laughs> be your Keisha go and drink and be drunk Man, as a goddamn and they're drinking scum. grape Smirnoffs girl uh, uh, Jamaica be crazy girl bye when that mama would leave <laughs> girl Keisha mama's house was the spot she girl. would work overnight girl and we'd be over there like and the crazy thing is we would be over there but we wouldn't be doing shit really and we could've did so we much could've, we could've been out niggas over yeah anything. none of that we weren't doing nothing we, we just sit up talking sitting up talking and drinking Smirnoff and going to the mall that was it <laughs> that's that all. was it oh man good old days okay uh <laughs> the next thing I haven't ever stolen anything but <laughs> obviously you know that <laughs> uh <coughs> let me see <laughs> do I have allergies? Uh, mm. Obviously. What is my favorite holiday? Ooh. Um, I'm gonna have to either say July Fourth, July Fourth, or so Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. Uh, Christmas. That's really? Fine. I would say Thanksgiving for you though. No, I prefer Christmas. Oh really? Yeah, I prefer Christmas. I it's like my birthday. I love Christmas. I, I just like set like my Christmas tree still up. Oh, see, I'm thinking more so like how much you enjoy like fellowship. Oh, that's not. why I said Fourth of July. Oh, Mm-mm. Fourth of July is a big fellowship like holiday. Yeah, it is. But I used to be around y'all. Why yeah, but we all be coming together, that's true. and you be trying Swimming. to do like yeah, barbecue, like whatever. barbecue yeah. or do something. So that's why I said yeah. those. Not I have Christmas. I always like Christmas music. Like I play Christmas music year, year oh, round. Oh yeah! Now that I think about it, you do like. I do not like Christmas music. I love Christmas music. I love. I love the soulful Christmas station. I don't really like the that shit through the snow. <laughs> like the Merry Christmas. <laughs> like, that's why I, should, I can listen to Christmas music year round. But just like I don't know, for when I was a kid, that's what I always loved Christmas. So right, I just like the decorations. I like. I don't like. Uh. Every year I say I'm not go wrap no gifts and I end up wrapping gifts. Right. Every year I say I'm gonna stick to a budget, I always go over it. Yeah. I, I really love Christmas. I think that's the one thing that kind of bothers me about Christmas is how it's like so like uh-huh. gifts. And yeah. Who can buy the biggest gifts? Yeah. And who can post what on Instagram? Yeah. But see, we I like doing the cookies. I just I really like the doing the stuff with them. Right. 
But someone at church told OJ to say it wasn't real. Oh, for real? Yes. We were at Gateway. They're like, you know how you don't believe, like, there's a, there's fact, there's fiction, and like Santa Claus is like fiction. I'm like, why the fuck do you tell my child that? Yeah, let her think Santa's real until well, she, she don't she believe it no more. Yeah. So, yeah. Well, oh, I kind of like that's that unfortunate. shit. I got that shit. Okay, so uh, if I were to win the lottery, what is the first thing I would buy? Oh, I would think like a bag <laughs> or a car. <laughs> A bag. It probably would be a Chanel. <laughs> get a big Chanel and stuff. Okay. I think, yeah, I think a bag. Yeah, I would definitely go get me. I go get me a Chanel, uh-huh. and then I go get Kendall and let him like help me with. Check. Oh, your taxes and stuff. Yeah, getting yeah. my shit in order. Yeah. But I would definitely go get me a Chanel I bag. Get a bag. <laughs> Um, if you were to win the lottery, uh-huh. you buy a house. Yes, I do. Yes, I, that's the first. I'd go buy a goddamn house. <laughs> my best friend does me so well. <laughs> For real. <laughs> house for show for show uh what's my favorite movie baby boy <laughs> yes whatever <laughs> okay but for the bonus what's another one of my favorite movies <sighs> you know but i don't know if you know no crooklyn yes yep, yep crooklyn i love crooklyn too your favorite movie okay so i did know this but i don't know if i know you do you know at I least one Selena. of them. No, Selena was a uh, Keisha favorite movie. Your favorite movie. It's not a black movie, is it? Yeah. Is it? Players Club. <laughs> That's right. That's right. <laughs> Players Club. And then I also love, which is really dark, uh, Flowers in the Attic. I don't think I ever seen that. Girl, that's a wild ass movie. That's your favorite movie? It's one of them. Oh, yeah. Crooklyn and. Uh, yeah. I do baby love Crooklyn. Crooklyn is so good. I hate saying Baby Boy because it's like such a bird movie, but. <laughs> Cuckoo! <laughs> $40. <laughs> <laughs> like, what about, I, I usually always watch it if it comes out like, on VH1 or BET. It's like one of my favorite movies. Right. Um, I had one. Let me see. Um. Do I prefer chocolatey or fruity candy? Fruity. Chocolate. You like fruit snacks. I love fruit snacks. <laughs> it's thing about- Actually, both. <laughs> both of the fuck. Both. <laughs> uh, for you, I'm going to have to say chocolate. Yeah, chocolate. Yeah. I just, I don't know. I, I just, you just love fruit snacks. I really do. That's why I can't buy them. What's something I always <laughs> keep in my purse, pocket, or wallet? <laughs> <laughs> What's something you always keep in your purse, pocket, or wallet? <laughs> Mm-hmm. your id or your debit card usually that yeah yeah but usually by keys like you, but you know i don't ever really carry like a purse yeah no you ain't carrying no purse or, but you're gonna have your debit card just debit in card. your wallet i mean in your pocket. pocket yeah free free ball <laughs> <laughs> something you always keep i want to say now it's your headphones yeah or you always you always keep your uh your cards like you always have a wallet yeah oh well, i thought you were gonna say person. chapstick you definitely i'm fucking and addicted lotion. i'm addicted to chapstick and i'm addicted to lotion yeah like every time i wash my hands i put on lotion <gasps> really afterwards. every single time oh girl you see my hands white right <laughs> <laughs> every single time um do i have a birthmark yes <laughs> like, it's on your face yeah <laughs> <laughs> yes yeah uh do you have a birthmark i feel like you do but uh, it's somewhere hidden I, yeah i think it's like on the back of my leg that's what i said like, like thigh or something i think it's i think it's on the back of my i don't know i yeah. got a lot of moles but i don't know about a birthmark yeah so i'm pretty i think it's on my booty though actually oh well i didn't know that <laughs> uh let me see do i have any weird talents or skills <sighs> you do a very good man, man's voice <laughs> Like very good. I love. There's, there's nothing where I like calling. They call niggas and like, hello. <laughs> <laughs> Who the fuck is this? <laughs> you calling my bitch? <laughs> it's not as good now, but I can really do a really good man's voice. Yeah, it sound like a nigga. On the you phone. can definitely do a really really good man's <laughs> voice. Um, you weird talents or skills? Oh, I don't think you have no weird ones. Yeah. Maybe your laugh, but that ain't like really. Yeah, I don't think you really have no weird. You you don't you ain't do nothing. You don't do nothing crazy. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm not really. Yeah, the way you sing, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I want to sing so bad. If you sing like read, read. <laughs> 
I, I, I want to sing so bad. Yeah, I don't think you have nothing weird. Yeah, I don't think so either. Mm-mm. Um, let me see. What creepy crawly am I most scared of? Ooh. <laughs> most scared of? Like, this is like an insect, right? Yeah, like a bug or something. I Sorry, say, y'all, for the cough. I'm really a spider, but I don't know if you're really scared. Roach. I was going to say roach, but I'm like... Nigga, I am so fucking scared of roaches. <laughs> yeah. Especially when they, when they want to start Fly? flying. Yes. Oh, hell... Yeah. Sorry. Oh <laughs> hell no! Hell no! Hell it's over. No. Yeah, it is over. Mm-hmm. It is over. Yeah. Mm-mm. No, fam. <laughs> what about for me? Uh, for you. Oh, like maybe like a lizard, a gecko, or something. Yeah, I'm not. Yeah, I don't like them. Roaches too. Yeah, I just don't like. Water bugs and all that shit, like the big ones. Yeah, them big ones, girl. It's like, ooh, ooh. Ugh. Doodly. <laughs> It'd be hard to even like kill them because you'd be like with the broom. Yeah, they be moving so and fast. They move so fast, and, mm-hmm. and then they fly, girl. Yeah. Don't let one come flying at you. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's over. Exactly. Throw the whole house away. <laughs> you can have it. <laughs> it's yours. Uh, what's one insecurity I have? Oh, a deep question. When insecurity, I honestly don't know. I think you're you're a really confident person for the most part. I mean, you know it. What I'm thinking, I don't know if I want to say that on here. My weight? No. Oh, is that it? No. Then what? My tooth. Oh, girl. <laughs> What were you going to say? Girl, I'm not going to say that. What was it? I'm not going to say it. Mail it to me. No, <laughs> I'll tell you later. Okay. It wasn't a big deal. Oh, okay. But, yeah, no. Okay. I would never guess your tooth. Yeah. I feel insecure about it. What's wrong with your tooth? The one that's like cricket or like out. Girl. I feel like your for that one. Girl. I notice it. You know, niggas is walking around here with, <laughs> with no teeth. <laughs> Half a tooth. I mean, bowling ball Broke teeth. Broken teeth. Oh, Lord Jesus. Like, yeah. Girl, nah, fuck that. I don't think you have an insecurity. I know it used to be your birth part. Yeah. But I don't really when think I was you younger. I don't think you really have one. I'm really tired of my boobs. Oh, yeah. I'm re- I really want a breast reduction. You, you say that all the time. I want a breast <laughs> reduction so bad. But I'm just waiting until I have at least one kid. <laughs> yeah, you say that all the time. Yeah. Just... Chop them out. You definitely say that. Just give me a push gift and just do <laughs> give me a whole new body. <laughs> I don't think people realize how big your boobs are too, because you never like show it off. Uh uh-uh. uh. You never you never wear low cut tops mm-hmm. or nothing like that. You never show them out. Girl, if I some your titties. Ooh. Girl. I'd be on I'd have somebody's premium snap. <laughs> Girl, not a premium snap. <laughs> sure would. Yeah, no. Cause I'd just be like, oh Lord. And what well, and I'd be thinking like if I wear them out like that, uh-huh. people are, they're going to look. Yeah. You the wrong attention. And I don't want the wrong attention. Yeah. Yeah. So I just be like, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. We can do a couple more. Okay. How are we looking on time? Uh, an hour, three minutes. Oh, okay. It'll be a short episode for y'all. But... Um, what perfume do I like? <laughs> Bitch, you have a lot. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if it's Gucci. Mm. Or yeah, you have a lot of perfumes. Yeah. Do you have a favorite? Ooh. I was gonna say Dior or do you have a Dior? Yeah, you I do like have juicy. A Dior. I don't know. One of my favorite, like lower end ones, is mm-hmm. Jessica Simpson. Oh wow! I was not expecting that. Jessica Simpson perfume smells so fucking good. Uh-huh. Like all of them. And then one of my favorite, like higher end ones, would probably be like my YSL or my Chanel. Mm. Fancy. Yeah. Okay, so do you have a favorite perfume? Absolutely not. You no, know, you know I don't. Cause I, yeah. like people give me stuff, I'll use it, but I'm not real big perfume. Like not just going out and buying it. Mm-mm. I mean, I want to start like having like some good higher end name brand. Girl, ones. yeah, because you need like a date night perfume. You know, a nice perfume you can put behind your ears you on those go, pressure you points. Have, you have to go to date first. I like oils. Like I, 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 I go to the, I go to the beauty spot and get oil real fast. Oh, you a uh, uh, wet pussy. 
<laughs> black seduction, black queen, <laughs> sex on the beach, all that shit. I had one that smells really good. It's like purple peonies, peonies. Mm-hmm. It's real. It smells really good to me. Mm-hmm. About like oils and all that stuff. Uh, do we have any inside jokes? <sighs> <laughs> we have a lot actually we actually have a whole lot of them um <laughs> one of my favorites is still puerto rico <laughs> <laughs> what would we say that for though we would say that remember whenever keisha was like uh what did she say it was something like i don't speak spanish oh I'm not. Well, I forgot what she said. I don't, I don't, I don't know Spanish. I, I I don't know Puerto Rico. And yeah. we we're like, no, you mean Spanish? It yeah. was something like that. Yeah. So we'd be saying Puerto Rico. <laughs> um, there's another one. Whenever we whenever we greet each other, hello, hello governor. governor. <laughs> A lot of stuff too. Like we start out saying it don't even be from nothing. It just be like random, something stupid. Oh, can you think of any? Um. Inside jokes, or you gave me that uh, that card. Oh, the cucumber, the cucumber card. Because <laughs> uh, I had a big dick. Yeah, <laughs> not me. Yeah, but I had received one. <laughs> yeah, I'm about to say pause. <laughs> yeah, I think y'all know I got no big dick. Oh, uh, the cucumber card was one. Yeah. Um, uh, inside joke. We used to call Keisha so many names. She get mad at us for real. Demo, Special K, Special K, Killer K. Especially, or no, I see special K. Okay. Uh, another inside joke. Ah, uh, we talk about people a lot, <laughs> girl. We sure do, and like we say certain stuff that only like we would know but. For, for, for real, for real. But I also have a bad habit of like saying stuff and being around a person when I say it, like that. So. We were at the movies one time. I was like, dang, I hope I can see this movie and a guy with a patch turn around. Hell yeah. With, with one eye. <laughs> so I have a bad habit of saying stuff like that. We just be cracking up. But I also, like, we read each other, like, faces really, like, yeah. We see stuff and be like, uh uh-uh, uh, don't even say it. Yeah, oh, we start be like, be quiet. Up. Don't, don't say nothing. <laughs> so, I, yeah, we have a couple inside jokes, but we do. That's all I can think of. Like, that look up there. We definitely do. Um, Let me. What food do I hate? Ranch. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> and hot stuff. <laughs> and mayonnaise. I was going to say mayonnaise, but you don't like mayonnaise at all? I mean, it's got to be like mixed in like real like deep. On a burger. Oh, hell no. I ain't eating no burger with mayonnaise <laughs> on it. Okay, but you, you'll eat stuff with mayonnaise in it. The only thing I can think that like will have mayonnaise in it, tuna fish. Double eggs. Oh, yeah. Potato salad. Yeah. <laughs> You started like, ooh. Well, even still, it. it's like mixed yeah. in really well. So I'm not really just getting that mayonnaise yeah. flavor. Yeah. I, what's one food I want to go eat? You already know. I think. You know a couple. Pickles. Pickles is one. What's the main one I just want to eat? Spaghetti. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot fucking stand. And it's like a nigga favorite. Like, niggas love spaghetti. I fucking love spaghetti. I am not. I can fix it, but I'm not eating no damn spaghetti. I love spaghetti. And spaghetti I, is so good. I've never really liked spaghetti, but we used to have spaghetti every fucking Friday in Memphis. Like spaghetti and fish. Spaghetti and catfish. But I don't like spaghetti. I love spaghetti. Spaghetti uh-uh. is so good. Uh, yeah. I, yeah. I, I'm Especially good spaghetti it. and meatballs. My kids don't even know what they miss it because I don't even make the shit. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes I'll make it for them, but I just, I'm not a spaghetti person. But then uh-uh. you make like baked ziti. That's different. It's still like a meat sauce. It's different. I don't, I don't know. Like I'm not, a, I'm not a real big marinara or tomato sauce type person, but you rather do like baked ziti. But I think with that, it has more cheese in it too. Oh yeah, true. it's like more cheesy and all that stuff. I don't, I mean, I like maybe like a, I don't know. Maybe it's the pasta too, like the angel hair pasta. I don't really just care for. Mm. I don't know. I always been weird like that. I don't like spaghetti. I love pasta. That's probably my, that's my problem. <laughs> it's not that pasta. My problem is the inside of a fresh. French loaf. <laughs> Girl, shut up. <laughs> okay, you want to try to do one more question? Yeah. Uh, let me see. How many years have we been friends? Ooh, okay. So we met. Do you remember when we met? Campus crew. But we were like friends then. Yeah, we were just, we just we were freshmen. Yeah. yeah, we were just acquaintances. So campus crew would be like 2002. Yeah. But we like officially became friends like in 2005. Oh. Junior year? 2004. It wouldn't be junior year? No. Oh, maybe it is 2004. Because I think I stole. 
<laughs> before oh no i still was it that summer of junior year i think it was that summer of junior yeah, year. yeah that was the summer before senior that was the year we got the closest we yeah and keisha so maybe maybe so yeah like, junior year. like 2004 through, through 2005 junior year yeah yeah, yeah. was ever we actually like we're like oh okay i fuck with you hell yeah I don't even know how long that that's, that is actually. But well, almost fourteen years. That's crazy, bro. Yeah, fifteen, fourteen years. Time passes by so fast. Same man, same man. That's what but, one. all right. Well, we just try to do something different. Yeah, you know, you know, take a little break from the same shit we do. Hopefully, y'all yeah. got to learn us a little bit better. Tag. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't. We don't have no questions. Okay. Did you fuck up this week? Did I fuck up this week? Uh huh. Yes. What'd you do? I did. Because, you know, okay, so y'all can clearly tell I'm a little congested. Uh-huh. I'm sick. Uh-huh. Um, so I went to the doctor and she was basically like, she was basically like, oh, well, you know, your throat looks great. Your uh-huh. lungs sound great. Uh-huh. Your heart sounds great. You're great. <laughs> and I'm like, well, I don't feel great. I don't feel great. So, I call the next day. Uh-huh. I asked for a Z-Pack. <laughs> yeah. And so I was on FaceTime with you. Uh-huh. <laughs> you were like, you know what a Z-Pack is? I was like, it builds up your immune system, right? <laughs> Nigga, not even knowing. I asked for a damn antibiotic. And your doctor gave it to you. <laughs> and she gave it to me. <laughs> Literally. Yeah. So I didn't know that I was taking an antibiotic, uh-huh. but um, I hear it works. Yeah. So I'm looking forward to tomorrow. <laughs> feeling better and feeling better yeah. but i definitely thought that i was taking like an immune builder or something yeah your doctor would give you no prescription for that that's over the counter shit yeah so, so that is where i fucked up this week okay. i called the doctor and clearly she don't mind it okay so i better be careful what i ask okay. for because clearly she'll give it to you hell yeah <laughs> <laughs> uh that fuck this week um uh, no, but I just realized, like, you know, I'm a single in these streets. Mm. And I really just been trying to get some penis. <laughs> like, for the la- it's been like a couple of months, and I've really just been trying to get some. And for whatever reason, every time I do something happens. Like, something happens. Like, I've no already lie. told you. I know. Like, what? Am I supposed to be? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. But I'm just These like, niggas don't deserve your body. Yeah. Bruh, but I just want some. I don't. I don't want to give him my body. I just want a but little. You are. I want a slice. <laughs> <laughs> you just want to give him a corner. It's a thing in, a, in a, one of the groups over He said, "Well, I need a slice of pussy." <laughs> <laughs> I just want a little smidgen of dick. <laughs> That's all I want. And it, every time something, it just, it just, I have reliable sources, but it's just every time. I've been Never trying to fails. get some, it, something happens. And then the one time, like, it was guaranteed. I started my period. Like, it's it's all been something. So I conscientiously, conscientiously decided, like, to try to sell a bit, see stuff out again. Uh, it just wait. It just wait. And, like. Because you don't even necessarily have to be, like, I'm going to be celibate. You yeah, can just be, like. Waiting. Next time I have sex, I want it to be with somebody I care about. Yeah. So that's what I've decided to do. Because. Um, Obviously, and this guy protected me. I'm gonna be honest. And like, my, you know, I told you my ex, well, I don't know if I told you my ex is at my house. So I'm like, that's another form of protection because he wasn't there. Right. Oh, it would have been down. Oh, oh it would have been. It would have been going on down. But I'm saying, <laughs> but like, it's been so long that he's even started to look like, huh? Bye. I know you're talking about a lot. I know you missed it, but I, I would Bye. never. But I'm just saying, like. You know, I just feel like all these things are in place for a reason. And I just need to, like, not be having sex right now. So, I, that's how I messed up. It's not really messed up, but I'm just like, I just, it just hit me. Like, okay, I don't need, obviously I don't need to be doing it because stuff, stuff's to be so simple and it's right. not happening. So, I don't need to be doing it right now. Right. So, that's it. I feel you, bro. Don't worry. I would say strong. We'll see. Dick, too, shall come. <sighs> <laughs> okay <laughs> well, if y'all have any questions comments concerns y'all want to send us some stuff for advertise bit be featured on here you podcast send us up at here you podcast at gmail.com you can also follow us on all, all our social media at here you podcast that's twitter instagram facebook here you podcast y'all can find me at who the underscore breezy b-r-e-e-z-z-y <laughs> he just dipped your goddamn <laughs> 
<laughs> bonnet, nigga? Yeah. You, you never smelled your bonnet? Do you ever wash your bonnet? Yeah, I wash my bonnet. Oh, do you wash it enough? Like, Girl, yeah, like at least once every two weeks. Oh. <laughs> Girl, yeah, that's why I smelled it. Like, just if it is time for yeah, another washer. That time, it's like smelling like grease and sweat and shit. Oh, that's true. But uh, y'all can you. find me. <laughs> y'all can find me on Instagram and Twitter at Tana Taught You. That is T A N N A H Taught You. All right, all right, bro. You ready to get up out of here? Let's what go. are sick asses? Okay, let's go. <laughs> As always, shout out to everybody. We had fun, and we will talk to y'all next week. Hey, mm-hmm. bye, bye, niggas.